Hey, Sarah, I'm having a bad day today. Can we talk about it? Of course. I'm here for you. It sounds like you're going through a tough time. Would you like to share what's been happening? Yeah, I've been having real problems with my family at the moment, and I don't know how to deal with it, particularly the passing of my grandparent. someone you love can be incredibly difficult. It's natural to feel overwhelmed by a mix of emotions. How have you been coping with everything? Not well. And that is an AI therapist that I've made using a combination of Spline and OpenAI. Today I'm going to show you how to create this exact model and how you can make it work for you. So, First of all, let's just have a little look at Spline. Spline is a 3D tool uh, that is a browser experience tool. You can actually use it for free to try it out. But this is a paid feature um, within Spline if you want to use it. Um, it's a really a mad tool. You can do all sorts of stuff. But I'm going to show you how we can create something like I had just showed you. So in here, you're going to log in. And you're going to click new file in the top here, okay? Now, it doesn't actually matter what your 3D object is. There's a rectangle and directional light here from the get-go. You can just get rid of the rectangle. Now, we've got a clear background. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just type in therapist into the top here. Demo. And I'm going to change the color of this background by clicking on the background. And then going here, I can change it to change it to kind of a calm blue color. Nice. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a circle. Um, so inside here, I'm going to click sphere. And I'm going to hold shift and drag down while I'm clicking the cursor to create a circle. Now, we know that this is a 3D shape because if we hold alt or option and then drag our mouse around we can see that we've got a 3d shape here nice now we can change the color of this I'm just gonna drag my head over here my fat head um, by clicking on this circle and then uh, we can change the color by clicking color and why don't we make it a I don't know blue nice and then what we're gonna do is we're going to put another circle in the middle that I'm actually going to make a darker color. So what I've got here is, oh no, sorry, I've messed that up. Let's command C, command V, and we've made two spheres. So let's do this as outer sphere. Whoop, helpful if I can spell, inner sphere. Nice, inner sphere. Okay, great. So, outer sphere, inner sphere. Now, what I'm going to do is, while clicking on inner sphere, I'm going to make this slightly smaller. And then what I'm going to do is highlight both of them. And then in the top right here, we've got a line to, and I'm going to make all of them a line to center. Great. Now, we're going to make the inner sphere, sorry, we're going to make the outer sphere transparent. Okay. So, how can I do that? I can do that in a number of ways. Uh, we can actually create uh, this uh, opacity lower. As you can see, that's changing there. Or, in my opinion, a better option is to change the material. We can change that material to glass. Ooh, fun. Now, it's a little bit blurry, and I think I just want it to be a little bit less blurred. So what we could do is turn the opacity down and I'm also going to turn the uh, thickness down as well. Um, let's make that maybe three. Blur, I'm going to make, let's say, five. Nice. We've got a kind of 
calming therapist effect. Now, let's be clear, you can do this with anything. If you were to create a life coach, a uh, tutor, um, you could have some kind of 3D object for some kind of, I don't know, medical professional or something. Um, I've seen people do faces to make it more realistic. I found the faces, unless they're hyper-realistic, just a little bit creepy. So that's why I've gone for an orb here. Okay, so we've got an outer sphere and an inner sphere. And we can see that they are aligned over the top of each other perfectly because of uh, the alignment that we've done, where we highlighted everything and we went center, center, center. Okay, so we've got that. Now, in the inner sphere, I'm going to actually give it a state. Uh, so the base state is going to be um, displacement. You see displaced down here. I'm going to give that a displacement of, say, 16. It just gives us a little bit of texture, which I really love. And then I'm going to click on the actual displacement uh, image here. And then I'm going to change the movement to, say, let's make it 10. And I'm going to click the scale to 15. Nice. OK, cool. So you see on the state, we've got this on the base state. Sorry, on the base state, we've got this on the state. We've got this. Now I'm going to change the rotation on the state to be 360 on the x axis axis. So you're not going to see any change until we click play. No. <laughs> Why is that not working? Because we haven't actually given it the time difference. Okay, so there needs to be the base state to the state over what period of time. And we're going to change that by clicking in events here. Sorry, an absolute moron move there. Now it's on start. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, transition from current to... Uh, so I'm actually going to change that to base state to state, which is going to change that over 10 seconds, giving us this nice orbital effect. That's going a bit too fast for me. Let's change that to 30. Um, now, also, what we're going to do is we're going to change that to an infinite loop, and we're going to change that to ping pong remix, okay? Or p ping pong reverse, sorry. <coughs> so let's give that a whirl. Nice, slow movement, calming therapist. Everything will be okay. Okay, sorry, I'm not taking the piss out of the uh, therapy uh, profession. I think it's very important. I actually have a therapist myself. I was just intrigued to try this out. Okay, so we've got this over 30 seconds. Base state to state, 30 seconds. We've got this infinitely looping. So regardless of whether someone's using this for more than 30 seconds or not, it's going to keep going. Okay, nice. And I also want another transition, which will be, uh, sorry, not, oh no, not another state. I want another event, which is going to be on mouse position. So look at, so what I did there was I clicked on the event and in on start, I clicked and then there's a few, load of different options here and I can actually go look at and just leave all of this, that's totally fine. I'm gonna change it on the Z, and then I'm gonna do hover out speed. So that's the, the reset there. So let's just check this out. So now we've got this following our mouse. A little bit janky, what's going on there? Dampening, let's change that to 10. Align with camera, nice. So it's a little bit slower, that movement. That's a bit nicer. Um, we're not going to do a reset. Nice. Okay, so it's quite subtle now. It's a bit nicer. Okay, so we've got our object. We've created something that's kind of like a calming um, effect, I guess. And like I say, if you were to connect this up to anything else, totally, you know, you can create your own objects. You can create faces, whatever. Now, how the hell do we connect this to OpenAI to actually have that voice effect? Well, if you click on uh, 
their documentation which is i'll put a link in the bio for this but essentially you've got a um really really helpful in their spline docs a article on this what you can do is you can go to the variables panel by clicking on this scene so click scene and then you'll scroll down and you'll see variables here click the four little dots and then if you click the plus icon in the top right you will see AI voice assistant click this now opens a new tab which says voice assistant and then there's an API key now mine is full my, my API key is put in here because I have already done this um, but what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get an API key from OpenAI. Now be aware that your voice will not work, your API key will not work unless you have paid some money to OpenAI. Okay, so I got an API key, I whacked it in and I was like, why isn't it working? And it turns out that you need to pay. All right, so if you want to actually do that, then or you know to make this work then you will need to um, need to pay okay so if you make an account on here then what you can do is you can then go to dashboard and then you'll see API keys on the left here and then you will create a key by typing in the name then you've got um, project that it's linked to it's just default project is totally fine create secret key then you're going to paste that secret key into here you can change the voice of your um, 3d talking real-time interacting API um, or sorry voice from OpenAI in using this so you've got alloy echo shimmer shimmer is a female voice echo and alloy are male voices <coughs> And right now, you've only got the option of three voices, as far as I can tell. If you were to, um, I haven't explored how this might work if you were to use like 11 labs or another API key or another, um, yeah, program that you could link it up to using the APIs. Maybe you can do that. I haven't checked that out, but just for using Spline um, and their options, then you've got these here. Now, in the instructions, I have asked ChatGBT for. Um, basically instructions to give this uh, I've just said look I'm trying to make a therapist trying to use this 3d tool called spline da, da, da. and then ChatGPT has spat out this stuff for me so it's all a bit um, it's all a bit meta this isn't it I guess I've just asked ChatGPT to make something for OpenAI and spline but anyway it's all a bit creepy I guess um, which one did I do? Therapy AI guidelines, that's what I did. So I want to give instructions to an AI voice assistant to help someone with therapy. Currently, the instructions are boom, boom, boom. Now, the instructions that are, that are here are the ones that you will get as a default in this box right now. So you will not see this right now, but you can obviously change this to whatever you want. So you could say, um, I mean, you don't need to use ChatGPT for this, but it gives us a really really helpful set of instructions so I do recommend that um, and then obviously you've got personality as well so I was like great thanks for giving me all of this stuff give me the personality as well and it just said empathetic kind etc etc and then that's what we've got here be upbeat and genuine try speaking quickly as if excited adapt your personality to your conversation partner okay now you can add all sorts of different stuff in here right like you might want all of this copy paste boom and we've got loads and loads of useful context uh, to create a uh, you know voice assistant which is actually very personalized to whatever the project is you're working on but um, you know obviously do whatever you think is best now you're like cool I've done all the press all the steps that Jack you've said I've put some credit into open AI uh, I've got my um, key from here so you might have put in $5 credit or $10 credit. You've got that going. And then you've linked it up to uh, your spline project. You've got a face or you've got some kind of 3D object that you want to interact with. And you're like, hey, Jack, it's not working. Hello? Is this working? Hello? And I was in my co-working space like, why isn't this working? Why isn't this working? 
But be aware that this will not work unless you click play. And on clicking play, after doing the steps that I've just described, then your object will work. Okay? So, how quickly does the price, how, how quickly do you burn your uh, credit in here? Well, I'm going to show you that now. So, in the usage here, we can actually see that um, so far I have got... Uh, these are all the API requests that are happening. So if I so I put on $10 and since November, so I made this on, when did I make this? Two days ago? And I've probably been using it intermittently, like just to show it and try it out. Um, I have used $1.88. And then today for the tutorial that I literally just recorded, that's 12 cents when I used it for like a minute. So the burn rate is high with this. Um, so I'm just saying that if you are gonna do this, um, be aware that you know you are spending money every time you click this little play button once you've linked it up. And so if you're sending this to friends or whatever, like ha ha ha, I've made this cool thing, like check it out. Just be aware that you've made this cool thing proud of you but they will be spending money on your account every time you send this link um so you know if you if you would share this uh copy link and then send that to somebody you know you're going to be kind of uh burning the credit so one way of uh you know charging for this if you were to like oh let's make this as a service uh you could make a paywall uh, you could do that using uh, Webflow or Framer or something which has a e-commerce experience or maybe even just a Stripe payment link uh, to be like, hey, you know, here's a landing page, here's a uh, login, create a login, pay a recurring fee of $5, 10 a month to have a certain amount of credit so that you don't get burnt because, just a word of warning, you know, this um, this does cost every time you use it. Okay, that's a wrap. That's how I made this bizarre therapy thing using Spline. Um, if you want to know more about all of this stuff, I basically have a uh, 3D focused newsletter called Spline Time 3D, where I write all about Spline and everything that I'm learning as I'm learning it. I am not an expert, but I am someone who's super, super keen on making immersive 3D website experiences. And so I recommend subscribing to that if you're interested in learning more about all this type of stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. And see you in the next video episode.